In a previous video, I showed you how to make a fillable form with Adobe Acrobat. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot different issues you might have with that form. So here I have my form opened in Acrobat. I'm going to go over to um, prepare a form on my tools and everything will be um, editable. Uh, to test out problems, I can go to preview and see how things operate. So. Um, I could just do some testing here, typing in stuff. You'll see that if I, um, here, let's do W. If I put in a lot of letters, the formatting will get smaller and smaller so that I can fit more information. That setting is an auto um, text setting. So I wanna show you if I exit preview and right click on properties and go to appearance, you'll see the font size is auto. Uh, sometimes you want your font size to be uniform. So in other boxes, I might select 12, but for the boxes that include more information, I think auto is a good setting. But if you do want this, the size to be the same in all boxes, I would go to properties, appearance, and pick the size and font type that you want. So that is one way to um, edit your fillable form. And if you're not in auto mode and you need to fit in a lot of information, I highly recommend auto mode. Uh, another issue you may see is sometimes when you don't have a uh, text box, you might copy and paste a pre-existing one and then put it into the spot you need. And then when you preview and you start testing things out and filling it out, you realize that it autofills with a number that's in a different box. That's because it was a copied box and they share a name. And so you need to give this an original name. So now let's see, it's called year row one. Um, if I find it here, property, I'm gonna rename it. I'm just gonna call it year row one, maybe copy for the purposes of this. And now if I go to preview, and I just have to take out my old information and put in some new stuff. You'll see that it does not autofill anymore. So that is how to stop uh, a box from autofilling. You just need to give it a new name uh, over here on the fields, or I think you can rename it by just right clicking it, yeah. And um, it's as simple as that. In a previous video, I showed you that if you tab through, sometimes it doesn't work because as you can see here, I'm tabbing through and it's skipping this. That is because it's uh, very important the order that things are in in this field section on the left hand side. So I see that year uh, row one copy is not after year row one here. So it needs to be pulled up all the way to year row one. And now if I preview it and I tab through, it hits it at the right spot. So that's one thing. And then there's uh, a last thing that I find pretty useful and just something you should know is that um, these boxes, these, uh, what are they called? Check boxes, sometimes look different from one another. So you'll see this one's kind of filling in weird. Um, that's just because it's not, an ex it's not exactly the same size as these other boxes. So to fix that, I can delete this, copy it, and I find boxes very hard to move because they're so little. So that can be a, a challenge, but I can move it with the arrows. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, once I have it in place, I have to make sure it has a unique name. So I'll just give it, I'm gonna call it something fast here. I'm just gonna call it yes. And it has to go after whatever I want it to tab after, which is up here, undefined. So undefined yes, take it up, pull it underneath undefined. And now if I preview, 
I'll see how it looks. Now it is still looking a little different and I know why. So I'm gonna exit preview, right click on it, go to properties and it is auto filling. So that's good. This is auto filling. The box is just not perfectly stationed here. That's it. So click the box. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And that's it. Those are some issues that you might come across when making your fillable form. I hope this helped and good luck. See you next time.